We're coming out already? Okay. Yep. Well, let me introduce you to, or welcome you to Whiskey Buds. Uh, I guess you don't need an introduction at this point. Uh, but I will introduce myself as Kurt. And this is... Billy. And we're Whiskey Buds. Did I already mm -hmm. say that? I already said that. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I feel like you should be better at this by now. <laughs> uh, sometimes you just don't care. <laughs> yeah. You're just like, whatever. <laughs> I mean, what, what what's the point of the show? Like, to drink whiskey? Like... To inform the citizens of of whiskeys that they need to try and need stay to away purchase from. and try or or to stay away from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, What's at the top of that list? That's our mission. <laughs> <laughs> stay away from climax. <laughs> Monkey shoulder. Hey, you tried that a second <laughs> time and you had to change your mind. Well, I brought. You brought. I brought this. You brought that. Okay. Because I bought this. On my own. Can you believe it? You should be proud. And I am. Well, you know, you <laughs> bought a few of them that, that I, I am. I'm pretty. Yeah. Like, he's but really growing pretty. up. Look how pretty this box is. It really is, actually, right? They, they and got it a said good. Talisker Storm. Okay. I actually just bought it because it said Talisker Storm. I was like, I guess that's oh, yeah? cool. <laughs> <laughs> but lucky for me, I like The it. Harry Tasker Storm? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So. I said I was going to do some research on this so I could educate. You did, and I was like, oh, I got I to gotta hear this. Like, I got to see. Yeah, so I... He's going to do better at me, and we're going to have to switch roles on the show. So I've had about three weeks to, <clears throat> to research this. Yeah, and you did it in the last 30 minutes? <laughs> I figured I'd just read the back of the box. <laughs> <laughs> it took you three weeks to do that. So here it goes. <laughs> That's terrible. So oh this, man! All right, all right. This was this took a lot of preparation. Uh, apparently, <laughs> I probably should have read this through once first to practice. <laughs> <laughs> clouds begin to gather over the black. Ah, oh, crap! <laughs> yeah, they clouds <laughs> clouds are together over the black. Yeah. All right. Uh, C u i l l i n. Cull. Cullen. Cullen Mountains. Cullen Mountains. Okay. Well, this is going well. You can see the mood darken. You can taste it too. Okay. Deep smoke swirls with spice. Feel the intensity rise as the storm sets in. Made by the sea from rugged coastlines and beastly storms. Is that what it says? I don't know. Yeah, that's what it I can't says. read it. To from warming here. sunbeams and soaring skies. The Isle of Sky powers through our veins and invigorates our souls. Unpredictable elements meet un painted beauty to create a spirit as well as our island so raw yet so refined i didn't tell you a whole lot all right well <laughs> as a, i printed some notes okay at least that's it some tasting notes <clears throat> can you even read holy crap it's, it's like a it's like a, a one font <laughs> all right well and it's not I, backlit. It's I didn't want to. I didn't want to hide. Yeah, it's really hard to read. Well, it's upside down. <laughs> That's not any better. Can you read that? No. All right. Well, backup plan number two. <laughs> Jesus. I printed it bigger, just in case. <laughs> just in case your eyes were terrible. Holy crap, dude! Like, like I'm normally good at reading up close, but this is terrible. Like, yeah, I had the printer settings wrong when I printed it out, and I was like, well, that might work. No. <laughs> well, I don't want to like be all, you know, like, oh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> remember when I called you a whiskey nerd last week? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I bring a report. <laughs> You're like, I got a print out here. Look at this. <laughs> all right. Here, let, let's get this out here. <laughs> We're four We're, minutes what, in what are you doing and that? you haven't even poured whiskey. All right, all right. Oh, man. Tell the uh, viewers about your whiskey. All right, this is, uh, I got this from, I don't even remember I got this from. I stole it off the internet from, like, whiskey. From the internet. Whiskey, whiskey something. <laughs> all right. Uh, says it's got white pepper, orange, uh, what's character? Says whatever, brine, smoke, oak, and stewed fruit. Stewed fruit, huh? Yes. So, here, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the, we're gonna smell it. 
Okay. See what we think is in it. Okay. And then I'll read you. I got three people here. Tim right. F, Billy A, and uh, the producers tasty notes. All right. So I can tell you what they said. Well, I'd never, I'll never match any of that stuff. You know I can't even figure out what the heck is in it. I know, but we'll, we'll see if we can somewhat agree with them or say they're just mm. full of it. I have no clue. It smells good. It, you, you, hmm. I swear you're getting a hint of that peat in there. Being a uh, an island scotch, you know, they tend to generally put a little bit more peat into their whiskeys than mainland scotch. So, and we've had Talisker on the show, so I already know that Talisker likes to use peat in their scotch at a nice, nice even level. Something that really kind of adds some character to it without. Being an art bag or a Lafroy, where it's front and center. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so. And it really does. You like, got the P and. All right, I'm gonna just read you what Tim says. Okay. What's Rich Tim say? Rich and unexpectedly honeyed initially. Rich and unexpectedly honeyed. Well, I I can I can understand the rich. The honeyed, I'm not catching, but it could just be me too. Okay, well, there might be some honey in, in there, but it's like it's overpowered by other. All right, I see. Yeah. Then some pleasing singed oaky notes. Singed oaky notes, okay. And I think he's saying bandage aromas. Is that like a Band-Aid? Maybe. Like, I don't know. Yeah, like like uh, Lafroy could have the medicinal notes, like almost like an iodine type. So a bandage like, uh, yeah, like <laughs> That's, a note similar a, to that. It's just kind of a weird thing to have in something you're going to be drinking. Yeah. And, but, and actually try to enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> That's like, last thing I want to think about is a You know what this tastes like is that old Band-Aid I had on my finger when I, I accidentally bit on it. And <laughs> yeah. This reminds me of that. Like. <laughs> All right. Then he goes on to say, now bonfire smoke comes through. No, maybe I'm catching the bonfire smoke right away and the peat and the bonfire. Like, that's it. Like I don't know about bonfire, but. Uh, there even seems to be some milk chocolate and apple fruit lurking in the rear. I think that's just too sensitive for my nose. Yeah, I'm not getting no. I mean, maybe the apple that's a stretch. Maybe. The maybe you're catching it. I'm not. No, I mean, there's a sweet smell. Is there? I'm not quite get. Like, I don't know if... They said honey and apple, but like I'm not really catching either one of those very well. No, I guess the more I smell it, the more I, I s try, the more I'm getting used to that strong, like peat or smoky flavor there. So, okay, I'm so, starting to catch a little more subtle something, but so Billy A, okay, kind of, I'm not sure if they're drinking the same whiskeys here, but let's <laughs> let's <laughs> see what he has to say. He says salty. As you'd hope, because I guess that's something. Yeah, that it's uh, by the story. sea, so yeah. yeah. Uh, with lime and orange peels, touches of mud and pine. You getting any of those? Lime, orange, mud, pine. Maybe a, a slight hint of a citrus note. Again, I'm finally getting through that that first overwhelming like. I'm gonna call it this peaty flavor, the mm. peaty scent that. So the from Tim the singed oaky notes uh -huh. I kind of get I can kind of see that a little okay. bit. Okay, but the rest of these I'm kind of like. Yeah, where is that coming from? <laughs> All right, you're gonna like this one. Damp blankets. Damp blankets, huh? Wow, I don't exactly know what those smell like really. Like I can't. Yeah, like damp with what and what kind of blanket and like that's just weird. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean. I don't know. Uh, woody spice and some caramel sweetness hiding underneath. A woody spice, whatever, and caramel sweetness. Yeah, that, these guys are way no. too beyond me. <clears throat> I can see the honey and the apple, maybe a little bit, a little bit, but the caramel, yeah. I'm not getting. Even that, that citrus, I was thinking I, I might have been finding. Like I'm just not. I don't know. Uh, like maybe. And then he says, <clears throat> behind all of it is a layer of woody smoke, maybe with a few leaves thrown into the fire for good measure. I don't a few leaves thrown in the fire for good measure. 
No. And this is still on the nose? <laughs> yeah, that's just the nose. Jeez. <clears throat> and then the producer's tasting notes. I don't know who that is, but that's what they had on the yeah. on there. He says, at first restrained yet spicy with a hint of struck matches. Struck matches, huh? All right, I can get that. Really? Like a sulfury kind of? Yeah, almost. Oh, man, I want to taste it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm waiting. Like I'm like, man, we are way far into this video and we have not even sipped yeah, it yet. Yeah, well, like, this, this is going to be a... Uh, this is kind of an interesting way to do it, I think. It really is. To see what these people, like, just dig into what every point they're making and try to yeah. see if you can understand where they're coming from. Yeah, that, that lip match thing or that just, you know, like that, dude, that's that's that strong note I've been getting. Oh, really? Yeah, like the very front prominent note. Oh yeah, mm. <laughs> yeah. I'm catching that one. Like that's well, that's cool. That's, that's dead neat set, when they like, say something and you you get it. Oh huh? yeah, I'm like holy crap. That's you know. Huh. All right. Uh, fresh, clean, and growing in complexity, like a gathering storm, to reveal a honeyed sweet maltiness, with ripe red berry fruit. Eventually, a little well integrated mellow smoke drifts across the scene, as a wild sea turns up briny. Fresh, clean notes and an oily explosion of pepper. It's it's got to be like some sort of uh, subliminal stuff because that, like, red fruity notes or whatever. Yeah, the red ripe berry, red berry fruit, ripe red berry. Fruit. Yeah, like I I'm imagining like something like that and like I feel like I can t smell that in there like. <laughs> so. Like right on the back, but the honeyed, I'm not catching that. So if you took like some raspberry and put some salt on it and. But I'm not getting the salt the either. Match, yeah, know. if I lit a match on a raspberry or something, maybe <laughs> that would be <laughs> what I'm catching, like a burned raspberry. I don't know. Hmm, that's interesting. I'm not quite picking those out like like you are in the match, but that's that's interesting. That yeah, it's it's so so strong for me that I'm dumbfounded by that one. I'm like, <laughs> that's it. Like huh. now that he said it, that's like. All right, well, I got to put it that's down all for a minute. No, so we, the next is the, the palate. All right. <clears throat> Let's mm. let's try it finally. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Hmm. <laughs> Moment of silence. Yeah. Well, there's a lot going on in there. I couldn't tell you any of it right now without somebody telling me what I'm tasting, but <clears throat> Alright, well I got three people here that are gonna yeah. tell you exactly what you're tasting. <laughs> I like producer. He's <laughs> he, he he got it on the nose for you. Yeah, at least closer closer <laughs> than anyone. <laughs> he was on the nose. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, Tim F on the palate. He says medium full, the usual uh, Diageo polished mouthfeel. Not sure what that is. Diageo. <clears throat> sure. It's imported by Diageo. They're the same company that owns like Johnny Walker and a few others. Oh, okay. Uh, Lagavulin, for the record. Uh, with initial honey and then a very decent dose of hot smoke. The oak is there too with vanilla and some actually quite polite peppery spices. You get peppery peppers the pretty common throughout. Yeah. Uh, so you getting that? I'm not catching what I would consider as like a peppery spice on it. Uh, maybe a subtle hint of the honey, but that's light. I'm getting the pepper. Are you? Yeah, I like it. it's subtle, but. Uh, yeah, like he's actually quite polite, peppery spice. I, yeah. I, can, I can agree with okay. that. Yeah, yeah. All right, the young whiskey component is well masked, masked, and the whole is rather more restrained in terms of mouthfeel. Gets sweeter towards the death as the pepper lingers, counterpointed with unexpected sweet fruit and even a note of strawberry licorice, which somehow works very well. So, yeah, it's just kind of... Yeah, I don't think I'm catching that. All right, let's go on to Billy A. It says, yeah. sweet and syrupy up front. I didn't get that. No. <laughs> <laughs> Quickly followed by ferns and bitter woody bark in a bit of a balancing act. Riding along with that is a prickly white pepper, rock pool brine, a touch of sweet fruit, and a nice waxiness. Again, behind everything, standing a little separate but waving at all of the other flavors is woody smoke, beach bonfires, and pungent peat. Hmm. 
I think I can catch that peat. I would better try to, you know, have less silence in some of this stuff. But, yeah, maybe a catch of that, that peat there toward the end. But I don't think that guy even is drinking the same whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> like, both times he's been, I don't know. All right, maybe a little bit syrupy, but, like, not even close to some of the others that I've tasted. Yeah, that we're or, used to, so. Yeah. So or that we've had. That's a little bit of a stretch for me. Um, bitter woody bark. Are you good catching any of that? Yeah, I can kind of. A woody bark? Not sure exactly what that is, but. <laughs> yeah, I either can, am I. I can say, yeah, maybe that might be what that is. All right. Uh, the salty they're stock, talking about, like the the brine and the saltiness, I'm not really getting too much. I, I really am not. I don't, like, it doesn't, I wouldn't ever think it was salty. No. Like, that's just not a flavor profile in there for me. And the, the like the strawberry licorice, I'm not getting that at all mm -hmm. from what Tim said. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see the producer. See if he's Please. on the... <laughs> <laughs> at first... Sweetly mellow and rich in the mouth, then quickly very spicy and increasingly stormy as the Talisker heat comes through. I, I think I'm he's on catching point that, there. yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, it's yeah, as nice if and mellow, the pure like, tongue good. coating sweetness joins hands with a deep, nutty smokiness to embrace those spicier notes. I don't know if I'd call that a nutty smokiness, but like, there isn't it, it like a, a good balance there of as the notes come together. Nutty smokiness. That that's a lot more descriptive to me than bonfire or wood smoke. Yeah, this this like, is those like, are not feels like it's describing more of like how you're gonna experience it versus like individual like, oh that's what it tastes like and that's what it and it's like I have no reference for half of the stuff that they <laughs> tell me it tastes like. Like what blankets like <laughs> Sure, I've I've taken a blanket out of a washing machine and put it in the dryer or hung it up, but I I couldn't have told you what it smelled like, and then half the time yeah. it's going to smell like detergent anyway. Like, yeah, or, you know, who knows what it's? Yeah, yeah. Is it a musty? Like, what kind of what kind of blanket? How is it a wool it blanket? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> was it was it drenched in sewage or what? <laughs> you know, I mean, okay. or or nice, you know, uh, detergent water. And then it's like then it's going to smell like the detergent, like, or or rain. You know, like yeah. What what if it rained when you hung it up to dry <laughs> outside? You're like. Or if it's your dog's blanket. <laughs> <laughs> he had oh, an accident. God. Oh, geez. The flavor is elegantly drawn out with good balance between sweetness, smoke, and salt, which is all the more evident when a little water is added. Well, we didn't have the water, and even though I mentioned it on one of the other episodes that I probably cut out so that you guys don't even know I had it and mentioned it on one of the episodes. Maybe I did. I don't know. Anyways, we didn't ha have any water, so... I like the nutty smokiness. Like the, mm -hmm. I don't exactly know what that is supposed to be like, but that sounds, that kind of describes what I think I'm tasting. tasting. So All right, like, see, yeah. Ah, all right, the finish. So we should have the finish already yeah, experienced we're, here. Yeah, we're so. listening to it, or feeling it right now, tasting <laughs> right. it right now, yeah. So Tim F. says, uh, woody and spicy without becoming bitter. Good length. Sweetness returns at the death. I mean, you, that's pretty vague. So yeah, like I'm really sure. not catching any sweetness on this. Like, like the producer mentioned, like a sweetness blending with it, and it's like, okay, sort of like with what it, how sweet it is. But uh, Billy A says, warm and peppery with some sweet dark wood. Maybe, I mean, maybe not. I don't <laughs> know. I think that's closer than than Tim. All right, and the producer says, clean and of medium length, warming. With a lasting, smooth aftertaste in which late peaty burnt embers can be found. I'm gonna go with that one. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm tasting whatever the, the producer's drinking, like. Yeah, I think he's more, he's the closest to what I'm experiencing. Yeah. And at I least, like some at least of the, the way stuff. he's describing it yeah. is the best I can, like, he, he puts it in a way that I can follow much easier than the others. Yeah. And then I think Billy here hits a couple points, points but, that I agree with and. Tim's Tim, just a yeah. creative guy. <laughs> I got Dude, I'm, I'm going to go producer all the way. Like, the other two weren't even, well, Billy wasn't even drinking the same whiskey. So that's... Tim was trying, but the producer had it on the uh, on the nose the whole time. <laughs> yeah. So what's interesting is, like, I 
you read that mm -hmm. and then you go try it. Yeah. Do you think you'd, you'd uh, taste what you were expecting? I, th I think to a certain degree, you know, cause like when I, when we were talking about it and you said that, that like burnt match, b burnt match, right? Like suddenly like the, the flay, the, the scent of like, as you blow out a match and then that last final bit of smoke coming off of the match, like I was catching that on the nose so bad. Like mm. I was like, oh wow. Like I could like picture, you know, blowing out a match and then, That's you know. That's crazy because I don't. I didn't get that. Yeah, I, I, it was it was like as soon as you he you know you read it, it was like that's what I'm smelling. Like I I know what that smell is, and yeah, I have to agree with it. And then, but you, they talked about the honey, and it's like that's so subtle in there that I'm not catching it at all. Or yeah, if I, I am, know. it's there, so there's so, I think there's some whiskeys like this one where the sweetness is so like you can tell subdued. it's there. Yeah, but like you can't really identify it. And I'm wondering if that's not the balance to it, where like we get a nice peat and smoke on the on the flavor but the sweetness is kind of toned down where it doesn't stand front and center on it yeah because they mentioned a couple different like honey one yep. said honey one said caramel one said like uh, apple or something oh or, yeah there was apple oh that oh the the red fruit yeah the red berries was, and yeah the strawberry red and, berries yeah like they were kind of all over the place trying to figure out like what sweetness was in there yeah Really, I, I, I really like the taste, though. I do like overall, it. Overall, the overall experience is good. Like, you know, we have been trying to figure out, like, follow these guys that clearly are more detailed than we are. <laughs> but, like, overall, this is just a really good... Like, I, I am enjoying this. I, I still think they're pretty creative in their descriptions. I, I do. <laughs> and I have no doubt that, that they're tasting what they say they are, you know, but... I, I don't know. Like, I... They, but whatever they're tasting, I'm not. <laughs> they're definitely not getting on there writing, well, it's yeah. good, but I don't know what's in there. Yeah. <laughs> I can't figure that's, it out. That's why you come and watch us, because they will tell you the truth. It's good. I don't know what's in there, but it's good. They're just going to phone it in and make it sound really impressive. Yeah, I think it's interesting, though, that how you picked up on some of the things they oh, said yeah. and I picked up on some, Yeah, you know, like we with, agreed with some things. Of yeah. It. And, th and that's really goes to show you just how subjective whiskeys are, mm -hmm. you know, why there's so many varieties of whiskeys and why one person will say, this is good. And then another will say, no, this is good. And you know, that we all have different taste buds and yeah. Like they were saying some, for some people, this is the, the smokiness is too strong. Yes, yes. I've 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 met people like that where they're like, oh my god, I tried to you know something like that, and it's like, and I'm like, whoa, like that's yeah. a really low peated scotch. Yeah, it's like, overpowering for you. Him. Haven't I'm even like... tried a peated like a really <laughs> truly peated scotch, and you know you already know better. Like, no, you don't want to because mm -hmm. <laughs> you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna fall over, you know, passed out <laughs> yeah. off of one sip, or you know, I don't know. Yeah, you're, it is very subjective because you, you know really like, is. i'm i don't read risky reviews but you know i happen to like this one you know yeah. I've, I've drank some already yeah. and i'm like wow this is really good you know i like it and i was reading some other people and they're like oh it's too strong or i don't like this or i don't oh, like really? that it's well, not yeah. a good whiskey i tried it never again I'm yeah. like what's wrong with you guys <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know? like, no. but but uh, you have cut your teeth on ardbeg ugdal yeah all right, so like <laughs> anything from there, you're like, this is so mild. This is wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's yeah. I, I think that's that's the book report. That's <laughs> <laughs> so uh, try it. Tell us what you think. Yeah, it'd be great if you like tried this, followed along with what we were describing, and yeah, if you and can leave keep a up. comment about what you could taste and what you could identify yeah, who, who did you agree with who yeah. did you not who was full of themselves billy <laughs> <laughs> not this not one me. that one on the list <laughs> well i am <laughs> no you're not you're as being much honest. as you though because that, other... <laughs> that was my wasn't on the list well, all right it's like that other day i thought you were making up that whole metallic oh <laughs> Yeah, like, I'm over here going like, do I believe this guy yeah, or this, not? This guy's making it up. He's really creative because I would have never thought of this. Like, it's like it doesn't say Metallica on it. How am I supposed to believe you? Uh, actually, it did. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, we I'm out. It. Yeah. So cheers, everybody. Join us next week where 
it'll be my whiskey, so yeah, we'll make Billy drink whatever you bring, I... You better bring your book report next time. Better be Are better you kidding? than mine. Uh, we, we, yeah, well, you just... <laughs> we'll ask the viewers. Cheers, everybody. <laughs>